What is destiny? The inevitable? The it will happen no matter what? When locked in a single moment, it's easy to forget what it takes to get to the inevitable. To make the inevitable. To force the gears of time to tick towards a different, less likely future. Doubt, expectation, some rise while others fall. All the while ticking towards a time when, against all odds, against all expectation, that even against each other at times, a shining new entity can be built here in Canada. Well, that time has now come. Championship weekend in the Canadian Elite Basketball League kicks off tomorrow in Saskatoon. And Saskatoon is hosting the Canadian Elite Basketball League Championship this weekend. So this is the best of the best you're going to get in Canada. The first game will be 1 o'clock on Saturday. It'll be the Saskatchewan Rattlers, who had a good finish to their season, ended up with an 11-9 record. They'll take on the second place Edmonton Stingers. And now we turn to local basketball. The Niagara River Lions are heading to Saskatoon for the CEBL Championship Tournament. Two semifinal games, Saskatchewan versus Edmonton. Uh, and then Niagara versus Hamilton, and the winners of those play in the championship. Boom, bam, there you go. But it's great basketball. A few weeks ago, I was home, went to a game between the Rattlers and the Hamilton Honey Badgers. It was, it was great basketball. It really was. So get out there. Championship weekend, a chance to see some great Canadian talent. I used to go to go toe-to-toe at lunchtime. Years of hard work have brought the league to this moment. But between the meetings, logistics, and grinding tasks, the commissioner can still find time for a little fun. It's, it's a bit surreal. Uh, you know, it, you get so heavy involved in everything that's going on that it's hard to take a step back and, and enjoy it. So uh, all our staff has worked tirelessly. And uh, it's been a moment uh, in, a, in a series of moments that I'll never forget. And I think on Sunday when uh, the trophy's raised and the confetti goes off and uh, you know, we can sit back and enjoy the fruits of the labor. Um, it'll be something special. There's never a good free throw shooter. As you can tell. Oh. Yeah, that's one. This is everything on the line, buddy. One for good measure now that I'm warm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah! Told you, I just had to warm up. I just blew out an Achilles and a hamstring. <laughs> just had to warm up. He's gonna say he, you know, he let the boss win, but uh, no. I'm more out of breath from celebrating than I am from actually hitting the shot. But I'm glad we can cut down the other 45 minutes of game tape and do your job. Love it. The four teams competing for the title take the court for their last practice before Saturday's semifinals. Niagara, Hamilton, Edmonton, and the hometown Saskatchewan Rattlers lock in. We've been talking about get, being locked in for uh, quite a few days since we arrived here and, and obviously this is really important and uh, the guys want to win, they, they, everybody's got a chance and they want to go to it and they want to win so uh, we're focusing on ourselves and taking care of what we can uh, control. When you get to this level of professional basketball, it's anyone can beat anyone on any night. And I think you definitely got to say we're the underdog, I mean Niagara's played great all season. We've been going for, all, well, since Sunday, uh, preparing for tomorrow. Uh, the first few days were all about us, and then recently we've just started, you know, preparing for Hamilton and, and making sure that, you know, we've covered all of our bases and uh, the guys are locked in. Relax, bro, shoot that ball. Be you, do you, that's who you are, do, do what you do. Because, you know, if you try to be somebody who you're not, then that's where you fail, you know what I mean? Personally, this is the best I've felt all year. Um, in every way, mentally, physically, um, my game feels very sharp, and I think the same can be said for our entire team. So 
No, we feel good about it, you know? Just going into it, you just control what you can. You don't really worry too much about the opposition. You just control what you can and uh, live with the result, you know? And this is literally a game seven, so we're excited about for the opportunity. And you know that I think we play our best when the, there's a little bit more pressure. Our backs against the wall. We're focusing for sure on Moon, Player of the Year, of course, uh, locking him up and making sure we're all locked in on him. We've tried to keep a pretty stable routine as we can uh, so that then their minds, their bodies in the same place that they usually are and hopefully it keeps their mind in the same place in terms of just focusing on the game. I'm really excited to see a Canadian Basketball League grow and flourish like this. I mean, the game of basketball has been growing worldwide. Having a team on Canadian soil has changed everything for basketball in this country. There's so many kids that have grown up with basketball right in their backyard to be able to see it, smell it, touch it, and it feels real. And as you can see, it's grown and grown. We have a full league in this country, and it's a really, really awesome thing. Saskatoon, we didn't know what to expect. All we knew is that we were humbled and honored that the Canadian Elite Basketball League were kind enough to ask us to come out and play their tournament weekend for the championship. This league is taking off. It's some of the most exciting basketball you'll see in Canada. You should feel truly honored that your city was chosen. If you don't have tickets yet, there's two games tomorrow in the final on Sunday. You see those people, you give them a high five, a hug, you see the players get an autograph, get a picture. We are USS from Toronto. Thank you very much, good night. Uh, like I said, attack the game. Don't sit back on your heels, wait for something to happen. Go on, take the game, okay? And you know you're gonna have to find your way through the game together, okay? So talk your way through, find your way through the game. And uh, you know, we gotta defend, we gotta rebound that orange thing, and we gotta run at them and then execute on O. And that's what it's all about. I'm gonna finish with this. This is what it really comes down to. Someone asked me, is this a pressured game? I said, pressure? What pressure? We've been playing game sevens all year long. That nine in a row, we played well, because you know what? Every thing was a game seven to us. This is no different. I told you guys yesterday morning, it's a war. This is not a game to me. So when we go out there, we put our hard hat on, we put our boots on, it's a like game seven. It's nothing new to us because we've been doing it all year long. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, we ain't come this far, don't we come this far, boys. Let's get it, man. Stingers on three. One, two, three. Rattlers on three. One, two, three. Just about ready to tip things off in Saskatoon. Semi-final number one for one of these two teams. The season comes right, to let's an go. end. All right, let's just get going to the rim a little more. Let's go. Let's go, Final Fantasy. One, two, three. Yeah, that's about the worst possible result Saskatchewan could have had off a fast break. Just totally out of control by Keith. Nine. Nine. If Campbell's back out, you got Campbell. All right? Let's go. Let's get it done. Back oh, back. switch. Switch. Rattlers trying to cut into the eight-point deficit heading into the locker room at the half. All right, we got to have a championship mentality. I mean, we got to find a way to win the game. No excuses. And you got to put, your, you got to put yourself in the back seat and put the team in the front seat. That's what it's all about. All right, let's go. One half. Let's go. Rattlers, let's go. Three, Bottom line, what this is going to come to, there's 20 minutes left. We, we got to go out there like we're down right now. Like we're down 10 points. That's what has to happen. We've been here before. That's so what we do, we win game sevens. Right, so we gotta go out there like we're down and let's finish it off. Let's finish this off properly, let's go. The finals is waiting for us. It's money time, let's go. This is it, this is it right here, come on. Together on three, man, one, two, three. Yeah. Hey, we got two! Play, play, Trout, how do you get open?
got to knock down open shots if they're going to have a chance to win this game. Hey, they made some threes. That's the only difference. That's the only difference. Keep playing deep. Come on, come on, come on. Get in. Is Saskatchewan the team of destiny? The season began here three months ago. Will it end here with the home team playing for the championship? We'll find out. Yes. Cut him off, no foul. But it won't get a shot. The Saskatchewan Rattlers will advance to the championship game on their home court. What a battle in this semi-final game. Holy smokes. come in tomorrow and go for 40 minutes together and hard and see what the hell we can do, okay? We're going to be pretty good when we're like that. You guys have seen it all year. So let's not mess around with, the, with what we're doing here, all right? Good job. We had some guys make some big plays. One more. Let's go. Hey, family on three. Okay. One, two, three. Family. Listen, right from the start, you have to be the aggressors. Yep. Set the tone, rebound like crazy, and then continue it for 40 minutes. That's good. That's the game plan right there, guys. We're too slow, backing up. But players coming in. Everybody. But just a dream start for the Honey Badgers. Is it destiny for them to be able to get to the final? Guys, on this side of the floor, we've given up three offensive rebounds already. Gang rebounds are important, all right? Don't worry about the jitters. Don't take unnecessary fouls. Just keep going, all right? You're fine. Rebound on three. One, two, three. Rebound. Focus, focus, focus. focus. You know you're the underdog coming into the game. You know that you have to battle for every last inch. It should be done all the time throughout the season, but in a NCAA kind of style format here where you got to win in order to advance, you got to leave it all out on the floor. And the Honey Badgers have done that here in the first half. Guys, the uncontested. I got him, I got him, I got him. It's fine, just keep going. Nobody's talking to him. Big drop, big drop. Time and place. All right, this is good. Yeah. Let's go. Yep. You got to win a basketball game. Nothing's going to be given to you. I am not the loudest person in the gym. Do you understand? Confidence is talking. If you're out there talking, 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 shit doesn't go their way. You saw when, it, when a call does not go their way, it starts to break. We have the recipe for the win. It's working out, okay? We're good. We're fresh. We're ready to go. Now, the team that stays together is going to win this game. Don't be fooled. Don't focus on the wrong things. Focus on yourselves. They are rattled, and it is, it is you know, the pressure is on them. You guys keep playing tough defense. You keep doing what you're doing. You keep staying together. Don't get frustrated at, at external things that you cannot control. Stay together as a team. Okay, the game plan is the same. It's working out. We're going for it. One, two, three. Yeah. Together on three, baby. One, two, three. Together. together. They turn two into three, Joe. Guys are making shots. People are taking. People are doing what they have to do, and they're controlling the tempo. Ryan Anderson didn't hit anything, and he's saying to the official he hit his hand. Hey, ref, what was the warning for? Uh, I'm just, we're tired of them beacon after every play. Caller, Perfect. No okay, so right, gonna, it, you right when you gave right, now. right when you gave the warning, two guys went to Tony. I know. That, that's yeah. why. Hey, 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 stop for a second. We got a rebound. Our oh no, shut up. Our reactions right now are embarrassing. I, Sam, I can't have that on the bench. I can't have that there. You speak to each other and you figure it out. Every 
everything is lining up for the chance that the Honey Badgers needed to knock off the top team in the CEBL. Picks up his dribble, bailed out by Bucard. Not even close. Dalibert comes down with it. No good. Two seconds. The Hamilton Honey Badgers have knocked off the top team in the Canadian Elite Basketball League. What an unbelievable matchup that was. Yeah, this is a good we one. went through a war. Hey, that was one of the hardest games I've been through just from rest. I've been on some bull. But this right here was character building, dog. I swear to God. Facts. We stuck through it. We argued with each other, but we stayed like brothers. I am so sit back and rest you gotta I, I, that's the one thing for me when I played I was I was always worried that I'd lose my job yeah. and you have to play that way or else you, you don't last it's, the unfortunate part about everything that's come before is for the most part most of these leagues have been American based yeah. right and then they kind of want to enter Canada, but they don't understand it. And then the teams leave, yeah. right? And they leave a bad taste in people's mouths. So, you know, one of the questions I've been getting is like, are you back for year two? Or like, absolutely. It wasn't even a, an option, but they've been burned before, right? So, uh, but it, this is not, you know, basketball today is not what it was like 20 something years ago, right? When the horn sounds on tonight's game, it will be the end of an era for Saskatchewan celebrated basketball player Michael Linklater. I feel focused, ready, determined. I've been in championship games before. I'm going to utilize my experience and leadership to help the guys as best as I can to get this win. This league is 70% Canadian content, so a lot of people, including myself, have a lot of hometown connections. So there's a lot of family and friends that have seen a lot of these players in the league grow up. So this is a great opportunity for them to come out and support them at that next level. A lot of these players play overseas, so coming home over the summer, this gives their fans and supporters an opportunity to see them firsthand. Just grateful. Uh, we got to focus one possession at a time. And if it comes down to us winning, uh, just grateful for every moment. Um, and and that's, that's really what, what you got to take from this, enjoying every second of it, because for me, this is going to be the last uh, 40 minutes of my career. Well, let's hope for a good one today. Well, you couldn't have written a better script, so we'll see where, what the guys can do from here. See you later. All righty, well, enjoy the game. And again, we got to be solid emotionally, okay? One possession at a time, no matter what going on, get on to the next play together and problem solve and find your way through the game, okay? But we got to carry the day in terms of wanting the game more, that compete. Loose balls, rebounds, hustle plays, fighting through screens. Okay, this is it. The whole summer. Let's get it done. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Transition defense, rebounds, and being physical. It's a, it's a different team. And then stay together. Stay together and focus together. Focus on the right things. Focus on us. Focus on the end. Focus on the championship. Focus on whatever motivates you to stay focused so that you keep your attitude within yourself. Right? So they can get the prize. You have to contain yourself for 40 minutes, guys. Hey, let's get it, man. Champs on three. One, two, three. Yes. The Jim fans cheering on the Saskatchewan Rattlers. Now, the championship game underway. Shaq Keith with the mop. Chad Posthumus. Seconds into this one, the Saskatchewan Rattlers are on the scoreboard. Webster 
did not play their best basketball, but they are still within seven. Game still hanging in the balance. Forty minutes away, man. Everybody keep playing well, bro. Everybody keep playing good, man. They scored 30 points this quarter, and it's a seven-point game, imagine. And we're only down seven? It's like three buckets? Seriously? Come on, guys, come on. We're good, we're good, right? High intensity, high intensity, y'all. Yeah. Finish on three, one, two, three, finish. finish. Don't settle. If we get stagnant, okay, get some movement on the backside, get into a ball screen, let's get after it so we can get into the paint. Let's go. One, two, three. Perfect start to the second half for the Honey Badgers. They get a turnover early, and two of their big scorers see the ball go through the hoop early on. Johnson, beautiful little dish. Shane Asante, and one. So a chance for Saskatchewan to get a little bit of that momentum back. They're unable to capitalize. Leads to two for Hamilton, and we're all tied up at 50. Rattler's just not making smart plays in the opening minutes here, and the Honey Badgers are taking advantage. See Hamilton fired up. Ricky Turan Jr. slams his hands against the hardwood. He gets it to Linklater. Linklater looking to drive off the glass. Gets it to go. Saw that a lot of times a decade or so ago at the University of Saskatchewan. Couple of missed goal and therefore we can't control, but we can't get into our own heads, right? You've all been there before. You're all performers. Relax. Okay, we're doing a good thing. It's good. It's working well. You have the point. Get X off the point. They're not ready for that. We got good movement. And Saskatchewan in the other direction with the double digit lead. You know, Murphy, it's not, it's not this that we want. It's this. A big flat wall right there. Not here, there. Just keep playing ball, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right? That's it. We have the lead. So we have the advantage. We use the clock, get great shots, basket stop. We got it. Now. Let's go. Can we get three stops in a row? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, 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 let's go. What is destiny without pain? Without the grinds? Without the boldness to shine a light where others see only darkness? To stand at a precipice knowing the knife's edge between glory and defeat and stepping out into the darkness anyway, head held high, eyes open wide. Feels great, that's amazing. You see, history is made. Destiny is made by those with the vision, the courage, the grit to grasp that moment with both hands and inscribe, this is ours. And when we look back to where it all started, scrawled across the halls of time, our league will have left our mark, forever etched into the hardwood. Yeah, yeah. 
they say Need a blue face, I've been caring about the race I've been trying to eat, I need more than just a taste Now they trying to talk, who know they should know they place Man, I'm ballin' I'll take a tumbler. Uh, when you do care so much, 